What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Mastering Body Language with me, the Body Language Noob. Don't forget to check out our blog. If you have a little bit of time, you can like or uh, follow us on Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe and become part of the, body, the Nonverbal Noob or Body Language Noob Army today. Let's get started. This is going to be a truth detection series episode. We're going to be talking about happy feet or nervous feet. How can we tell the difference? Happy feet or nervous feet both will jiggle or bounce up and down. And usually you can notice this. If someone has their hands like this, you can usually see their shoulder wiggling, which you can kind of see. A lot of times you'll see the wiggling or shaking or bouncing up and down, up and down of happy feet or nervous feet. So it's very hard to tell the difference. Happy feet is a high confidence tell and nervous feet obviously is a low confidence tell. In order to distinguish between happy feet and nervous feet, it's important to look at the situation. Uh, what was just said verbally? What environment are you in? Um, that's going to be how you determine between happy feet or nervous feet. It's really probably the only way. So obviously if I say, if a boss if I call someone in, I'm a boss, and I say, meet me in my office, and his foot's going up and down, and his leg's going up and down, he's probably not happy. He's probably nervous. So you have to use your judgment in this type of situation. Also, you got to read body language in clusters, read gestures. What is clustered with the bouncing up and down of the foot? Is it biting the teeth, biting the nails? You say biting the teeth. Biting the nails, lip biting, pacifiers. You're going to see happy expressions with happy feet. So you have to read body language in clusters in this situation. And you should read body language in clusters in every situation. It's important to get a baseline of someone. We talked about baseline in one of the vocabulary episodes. Where you find the normal body language for that person. If their feet are always bouncing up and down, when they're sitting down, maybe they have ADHD or something, or they just have some kind of syndrome where they, their legs move all the time, then you know, like, hey, I need to pay attention to that, or hey, this person doesn't really move their legs that much, that's their baseline. You need to determine that before you start judging people based on their body language. Another thing that came up is, could it be impatience? Could it not be, could it not be, I sound like a poet. Could it not be, maybe it's not happy feet, maybe it's not nervous feet, maybe it's impatient feet. So again, it depends on the situation. Let's say you're in a classroom and you see people's feet bouncing up and down. You can't just randomly pick one. Look at the time. Oh, five minutes till class ends. Maybe it's impatient feet. Probably not nervous or happy feet, unless they're really happy to leave the classroom. Maybe the teacher's handing out test scores at that class period, and you see feet bouncing up and down. Nervous feet. Probably not impatient feet, unless you're the smart kid in the class. Teacher's passing out the test scores, and she says, don't worry, I added 20 extra points to the test. Maybe you'll see some happy feet after that person receives their test score. This is reading body language with situations, with verbals, and given the environment. And that's what you need to do in order to determine what the feet is trying to tell you, or the legs, whichever you want to call them. That was another episode Leave a like if you enjoyed, rate, comment, favorite, subscribe. Become part of the Nonverbal Noob Army today, and I'll see you next time. Peace.